Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is arriving in Popal today on a day-long visit. Modi will address the Joint Commanders Conference of the three services going on in Popal. He will address the conference at Kushapau Thakuri International Convention Centre. The theme of the conference is ready, resurgent, relevant. Commanders of the three services and senior officials of the Ministry of Defence are participating in the conference. Chief Minister Nipirio has extended Gundanlum Auling and Pom Mungyu greetings to the Chang Konyak and Pom communities, respectively, extending happy Gundanlum to the brothers and sisters from the Chang community. Rio conveyed best wishes for good health, peace, and prosperity and hope that all forge ahead into the new year with renewed vigour. On the occasion of Aoling, he said it is a festival which is observed after completion of sowing of seeds and to welcome the new year. Rio expressed hope that the festivities be successful and a prayer for a bountiful harvest be answered. Greetings on the spring festival of Palm Mungyu, the chief minister hoped that the essence of the festival, which is love, sharing and friendship, foster oneness and bring blessings of prosperity in the year ahead. Extending warmest greetings to the Chang, Konyak and Palm community on the occasion of their festivals, Deputy Chief Minister Dear Zeliang said festivals are celebrated by every Naga tribe with a meaningful narrative and reverence to it. Zeliang wished that the communities be blessed with the joy and happiness as they celebrate their respective festivals. Nagaland Brothers Congress Committee NPCC Vice President and former MLA S. Supung Meren Jamir has been appointed as the new state president. The appointment of Supung Meren was made by Congress President Malik Arjun Karke following the acceptance of the resignation of K. Tere with immediate effect. Congress MP and General Secretary K.C. Venukopal said that the Congress Party appreciated the contributions of the outgoing PCC President K. Tere. Mention may be made that Tere yesterday resigned from the party as President owing moral responsibility of Nagaland election debacle. In a special series, All India Radio brings you excerpts from the Prime Minister's monkey part. People, voice and direct dialogue. That's your and our Man Ki Baat. Yes, this is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen. With the program Man Ki Baat, aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3rd, 2014, will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. The period of emergency shall remain a blot on the constitutional fabric of independent India. Emergency was a time when the rights of citizens were crushed and the people who imposed emergency perhaps wanted to rule for long, but their illusions were shattered by the citizens of India and in the process made the people more aware than ever before. Today, one can't even dream of imposing emergency ever again. In the Man Ki Baat episode broadcast on 25th June 2017, the Prime Minister reminded the country how imperative it was in a democracy for the people to be on their guard. Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. Lok Tantra ka prati nitya jagrukta jaruri hoti hai. Aur is liye Lok Tantra ko aghat karne wali baato ko bhi smaran karna hota hai. Aur Lok Tantra ki achchi baato ki disha mein aage badna hota hai. 1975-25 जून वह ऐसी काली रात थी जो कोई भी लोकतंत्र प्रेमी भुला नहीं सकता है कोई भारतवासी भुला नहीं सकता है एक प्रकार से देश को जेल खाने में बदल दिया गया था विरोधी स्वर को दबोच दिया गया था जयप्रकाश नारायण सहित देश के गणमान्य नेताओं को जेलों में बंद कर दिया था न्याय व्यवस्था भी आपातकाल के उन भयावह रूप की छाया से बच नहीं पाई थी The special Monkey Bard series can be heard every day in the morning and evening bulletins. In view of the upcoming G20 summit and in the interest of public convenience, odd event scheme will be enforced in Kohima town on 4th and 5th of April from 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. 
This applies to all commercial vehicles such as two- and four-wheeler taxis, pickups and Tata Mobile and buses. Deputy Commissioner Kohima Shanavas informed that vehicles with registration numbers ending with odd digit 1357 and 9 would be allowed to ply on 4th April, while vehicle numbers ending with an even digit 2468 and 0 on April 5. Further, it cautioned that violators, if any, would be penalised under Section 179 of the Motor Vehicle Amendment Act 2019. Nagaland and Manipur have secured their place in the semi-finals of the first Northeast Cricket Development Committee Interstate Friendship Tournament. On day three match played yesterday, Manipur defeated Mekalaya by reaching the target of 178 in 38.1 overs, while Nagaland outperformed the Sikkim by scoring 184 runs. Manipur and Nagaland will now face Sikkim and Mekalaya respectively today morning. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.